Hello, Thumpers, and welcome back to another trailer reaction from Hyper RPG. We are reacting to the trailer, the very first trailer for The Dark Tower. I'm Adam Havik, joined here with... Hi, my name is Malika Lim. And I'm Cameron Rice. Um, so first things first, how familiar are you guys with The Dark Tower? Very. Nothing. Same with me. I don't I, know I know anything, anything at all. Well, I was like, wait, is that based off of a book by Stephen King? And that was about it. Yeah, I, that my, I'm like, I've heard of it. I don't know too much about the book. I don't know too much about the characters. I don't know anything about the, really anything about the world. So I'm kind of going into a, like, it's Matthew McConaughey. It's Idris Elba. It seems like some sort I, of a Western fantasy movie. I don't even know the genre. <laughs> I don't even know if this is for TV or a movie. Oh, like, definitely a movie. I, I'm like, I don't even know what is going on. Cam? Oh, I've read the series twice. I am <laughs> so pumped. Uh, if someone's a Steve, if anyone out there watching the Stephen King fan, you know how big of a deal the Dark Tower is to some extent because he, the Dark Tower universe connects to almost all of his books oh, in one way or another. Which I might I'll talk about a little bit more once we watch this trailer because there's some Easter eggs up in this trailer uh, that we'll, we'll probably talk about. But uh, I'm very excited about this. This has also been a long time in the making because maybe about ten years ago, I think, right when I graduated high school, they were talking about. Uh, doing these uh, and it was originally going to be this giant ambitious project where they were going to do a film and then a season of television and then a film because there's seven books Oh wow! Uh, is the main series there's actually an eighth book that Stephen King put out uh, two three years ago that takes place between book four and five like wait, it's wait, an adventure I'm, with the characters I'm so confused so this guy Stephen King I see this man <laughs> I, I see his the most popular author <laughs> yeah. ever debatably uh, when, whenever this I guy. Whenever I go into the bookstore, I see there are books with his name on them. Are you from the Dark him. Tower universe? Like, you don't literally know who he is. But, but like, every time I see a book, the title is different. And I don't know yes, if Yes, he's those... written more than one book. I just have a serious he, question. He, he, did not, he did not pull a, uh, a Catcher in the Rye. He wrote more than one book. Do, the, do all the books have something to do with each other? Valid um, question. Valid question. D okay. D d d d debatably. Debatably. Um, All right. we'll, we'll, like I said, well, I I'll show. There's some Easter eggs in this trailer, and I'll ch I'll chuck those bad boys out. Sure. Um, so this is number one of fill in the blank. The Dark Tower. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm very excited because like there there was so like ten years ago it was announced they were gonna make a movie and it was gonna be Ron Howard with Russell Crowe as the gunslinger. Oh. And then that got, and then the economy collapsed. Everyone, we all know this. Um, so it turned out trying to do giant ambitious projects where you were going to do a film, a TV series, a film, a TV series was not not so uh, much. Not so much. Um, a couple years later, it was announced they were kind of resurrected again with Javier Bardem playing the gunslinger, uh, which I think would have been kind of cool. And was Ron Howard Del Toro was supposed to do this at one point too, or am I, I don't confusing think with so. I think uh, no, he's going to do the Mounts of Madness. The oh, uh, H.P. Gotcha. Lovecraft gotcha, story gotcha, gotcha. Um, with Tom Cruise, and that's one of those great never-made movies. Um, but then it came back up. Matthew McConaughey was interested, Idris Elba, and it looked like it finally happened. And now uh, we got the trailer. And then it was a couple of weeks, a couple of months ago, there was uh, talks that they had signed both Idris Elba and the young boy playing Jake in this film to a television series contract. Ooh, so that they were resurrecting the idea of if this does well... They will do a season of television that will be book four. And for those who don't know, Dark Tower series, book four is a young gunslinger. So, like, Idris Elba and the boy would act as, like, chapter right. starts to each episode. Gotcha. Retelling book four, and then the next film would come out. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Well, let's, okay. let's check this out. So all that ambition, I'm everybody. I'm very intrigued by this, by this movie and by how everybody talks about it. All right, here we go. First I have trailer. No expectations. I don't either. I don't either. I, don't, I have no clue. All right, here we go. Trailer for a trailer. All right. Love those. That's cool. For thousands of generations, the gunslingers were knights. Sworn to protect us from the coming of the dark. Oh. Okay, so uh, novels, right? So yes. Visions, as you call them. What do you see? I see a tower. The man in black and the gunslinger. They're just dreams. They're not real, Jake. Uh-oh. There's another world out there. I know there is. Huh. Interesting. Oh. Who are you? It's you. You're a gunslinger, right? There are no gunslingers. 
Not anymore. Why does the man in black want to destroy the tower? The tower protects both our worlds. If it falls, hell will be unleashed. He's like the devil, isn't he? No, he's worse. You can't stop what's coming. Death always wins. Your world might be gone, but mine isn't. If you let that tower fall, billions of people die. Do they have guns and bullets in your world? You're gonna like Earth a lot. Yeah, we love guns, everyone. You clawing your way out of the darkness? Did you tell the kid whoever walks with you dies by my hand? I will kill him for both of us. I do not aim at my hand. Oh, 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 oh. Get out of here. He who aims with his hand has forgotten the face of his father. I aim with my eye. Oh, that's... That I could not shoot with my hand. I shoot with my mind. <laughs> Jake! I do not kill with my gun. Get out of here. Damn. I kill with my heart. <gasps> Nikolai Arcel. I'm not familiar with. I understand work. everything now. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> okay, so let me let me chuck some Easter eggs your way. That's all of in this trailer that I I love. Well, actually, you guys talk about the trailer while I find these Easter eggs. Um. Well, I don't know anything, but <laughs> uh, what I know from writing and stories, there's this trope. It's called a stranger comes to town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except oh, yeah. for I get the sense of it. It's like both. These two gunslingers are strangers in this world, and then the boy is the audience's kind of a stranger right. to follow, right? right. So that's yeah. kind right. of interesting, right? Yeah. And then um, also this trailer makes the movie seem really big and really small at the same time. Which I I'm love. Like, yeah, there's like, there's a black dude, a white dude, and a little boy. Yep, the reported is, budget right? is $60 million. Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, For a movie about three people? Yeah. Um, and as big as ambitious as it is, I mean, like a fantasy sci-fi world. So... One of the Easter eggs, uh, this photo that we see very briefly in the therapist's office is the Overlook Hotel from The Shining. Oh. Uh, so that's one Easter egg. And the secondary Easter egg. <laughs> oh, that is The Shining. Oh. And then the, so this is how it all connects to the Stephen King, Stephen king Uh Let me find this. So basically the concept of this movie is that this kid goes into a portal mm -hmm. and there are other portals that exist that could take him then to the world of like it the shining so speaking That's, of it kind here's of the, the second easter egg as you notice pennywise the clown and uh balloons so this is some oh. of the ways that the dark tower universe connects okay. to stephen king's world Interesting. pennywise the clown the creature the giant spider creature if you saw the miniseries that creature is from the dark tower universe uh -huh. so uh the pennywise oh, and but this is the interesting thing about the fact that they're able to <laughs> um, but what I, uh, the thing about it is um, this is what's interesting so this movie is being put out by Sony it is being put out by Warner Brothers, Brothers there is yeah. no oh. deal I think this is all you're going to get for the most part in these movies is these little Easter eggy hinty things um, but that's enough for me uh, Matthew McConaughey is playing a character in the first three books is referred to as Walter later on we learn that the character's name is Randall Flagg for those who don't know are familiar with Stephen King Randall Flagg is the main villain in The Stand which is considered Stephen King's like masterpiece. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's also the main villain in Eye of the Dragon. So the Dark Tower is almost like this diamond in the Stephen King world that then spreads out to right. everything else. Um, there's a discussion that Danny Torres from The Shining has psychic powers because of being touched by the Dark Tower world, that the Overlook Hotel, all these different things. Wow. So that's why this book and film is simultaneously like so ambitious and why it was so hard to right. try and adapt. Um, I, I, now that you're now that now that you're giving us this much context, context, I feel like 
and maybe not. Maybe we'll see the movie and I won't feel this way. But I feel like it's a lost opportunity to try to not necessarily unite all the Stephen King universes. I don't want to see a movie where you see all these characters cross over into one world. No, and, I, and let me say, or anyone who hasn't read the books, that doesn't happen. Right. Uh, the main character, the it's gunslinger, not does not book. suddenly. Yeah, it's not the Avengers. The gunslinger right. does not suddenly team up with Pennywise and right, right. Danny Torres and not all these characters. Not necessarily that I like. Yeah, I no. don't. It's not that I want to see that. But I feel like if all these movies lived under the same studio and they were kind of led by the same creative team, you could create more sort of hints and little Easter eggs. Or maybe this is enough to inform you that like these are all part of the same universe. Maybe yeah. a visual style or whatever. Yeah, so I saw so much stuff there. Like New York City something getting destroyed. Like a Western people with guns except for they kill people with their heart or their mind. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused. And what I... Um, yeah, I, I'm really glad there's this like kid character who also doesn't know what's going on. Right. So mm -hmm. otherwise I'd be like... I've never read any of those books and I'll never catch up with how fast they get published and I don't even know if this movie is for me. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be so uh, and real quick, this is the last little Easter egg right here. This is not connected to other books, but all hail Crimson. For those who don't know, the Crimson King is the main villain of the Dark Tower verse. Mm. Uh, he appears in Did book. You just ruin it for me. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he appears in book five, six, seven. So that's what this all hail Crimson uh, King. I'm sure they're gonna allude to him in the film. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, for me, this is super exciting. Um, and. It is such an ambitious project, but the smartest thing they did, um, for those of you who I'm telling you all these things, you're like, oh my God, how are they going to adapt all this stuff? How are they going to do all this? The interesting thing about these books, uh, uh, this film, and maybe I'll make you read the books, and if not, that's fine, because I think they're doing a smart thing about this. This film is working as a sequel to the books, Ooh. Um, and it can be done in a manner where they can readapt the books, but do it in a different order. Because a, a fair amount of this movie, the character of Jake, who's the little boy, going to the Dark Tower universe and running into the gu uh, gunslinger, is a lot of book three, The Wasteland. Um, and there's stuff in here. We see creatures that are in book five and all this other stuff. But because this is supposed to be a sequel, they can do like a retelling and adapt it in their mm -hmm. own way. Plus, I think it's, a, it's an easier way to kind of bring in the audience, because I think, to your point, the one thing that I like about movies like Inception is we have the one sure. character yes. that is the audience that is kind of your in to that universe. And I think with this, I think if you were to just solely adapt the book, it might feel like too much is going on. Whereas with this, you can kind of create a sequel that brings in the most important pieces of that and then spins off into its own movie. Also, there's clearly a logic to this universe because yes. it's built by the same person. But I don't feel it right now from the visuals that I've seen in the trailer. Mm -hmm. I think you mentioned one thing. Um, the beginning of the trailer is really blue, and then it comes up, and I'm like, is that magic land? Is that in somebody's Mid -world. imagination? Yeah. yeah, so I picked up on that, but I didn't like understand, well, how many worlds are there, mm -hmm. you know? Is this one real? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I think Idris Elba as the gutslinger looks so dope. Yeah. Uh, Idris Elba's dope just in general. I know, I love Idris Elba, so him... <laughs> That whole shot of him like loading up the bullets real <laughs> quick and how smooth he is with the gun. Yeah. Uh, and the the speech Crazy. at the end that you hear over the trailer is called the gunslinger's prayer. Oh. And that's, something, that's an oath every gunslinger has to take um, about uh, forgetting the face of my father sure. and all this other stuff. So the fact that they like put that in the end of the trailer, it's an interesting thing where it kind of gives this... It's like what you said, the film simultaneously feels small and yet big. Uh, which I appreciate. I like movies like that. I think that's why I like I really like a movie like Logan, where it was like right. super simple, not a big deal. But if you look at the concept as a whole, it is a big deal because right. the death of mutants and but there's new mutants and all this yes. other stuff. Um, and also the fact that this the film costs sixty and for the, uh, reportedly for those of you know who don't know how budgets work in film, everything's a lie. But generally, <laughs> you times it by two, you get the marketing budget, and then you times that by two because trailer th movie theaters have to split up uh, costs right, and yeah. everything and how much they make. So this movie to be profitable only really needs to make two hundred and forty, which is not only. crazy. I mean, in comparison to like some uh, superhero movies, uh, is not. And this isn't a superhero movie. But I think that's kind of what's also smart. I feel like they cut this trailer as if it was right. Like the way he like right. jumps and the the trench coat acting like a cape as he's shooting. Um, yeah, I'm I'm very very excited for this. I don't know if I'm feeling the superhero thing though because you said you know like very small and big at the same time. It's one there are very few characters that we can actually like go into very intimate moments mm. and relationships. I'm like, "Oh, are these guys going to be like father figures to the kid?" you know? Yeah. Or reverse or vice versa. So, I'm I'm I hope that's what is in this movie. Yeah. 
Well, I think that's the thing. Like Stephen, like at the end of the day, Dark Tower is basically just Stephen King doing a giant gumbo of like, oh, I like fantasy and mm-hmm. cowboys and good versus evil yeah. and monsters, and let me just throw that all in this pot and gumbo it up. <laughs> um, if anyone feels, uh, I actually would recommend. I'm listening to the audiobooks right now. Uh, the audiobooks are great, and they're also like it's they're amazing gym listening because you just kind of get wrapped up in these stories as you're on the elliptical or something. Um, so if like reading seven or eight books sounds like Oh my God, brutal by August. Listen to the audiobooks. You'll have a great time. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. I think my final thoughts on this trailer, I think, what? Hello. Oh, you know, I got to jump in and okay. say, check out the Marvel comic books by Peter David that mm-hmm. were adapted. The art is beautiful. It's my favorite rendition. I actually like them better than the books. I gave you a volume a couple years ago. You never read it. It's fine. A couple uh, years ago. But- I've only known you for a year and a half. Oof. Just walks away. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's art by Jay Lee. Uh, so definitely go check out the Dark Tower comics as well. If you have the Marvel app, I think they're all on there. Um, yeah. So yeah, Adam, I mean, what do you, what do you think about this? Uh, I, 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 think, I think visually there's definitely, it has an interesting style to it. I like. I love a lot of the framing. I love a lot. Yeah, I love a lot of how, how it just looks. Obviously, Idris Elba and Matthew McConaughey are a big draw for me. I don't know the director's work. So for me, that's kind of the only thing that's. I don't want to say holding me back from being really excited about it, but you know, I feel like I'm more comfortable watching trailers for movies from directors that I know because I kind of know what I'm going to get. Whereas with this, it's kind of a big surprise. But maybe that's a good thing because I don't know the material, I don't know the world and the whole universe and really what it's all about. Mm-hmm. So maybe it's a good thing just going to it fresh and kind of going into it only because of what you saw by Matthew McConaughey. But I'm really excited from what I saw. I love the little Easter eggs that you pointed out, and it makes me excited to see really what the Dark Tower universe is all about. Yeah, I'm excited about this director. He is also a screenwriter. He co- he co-wrote the script on this, uh, which gets me excited because he wrote not the David Fincher one, but the Swedish Girl with the Dragon Tattoo script. Oh. And I thought oh, okay. that was a very good adaptation. Yeah. Yeah, that was the yeah, way yeah. of knowing what to take from the book and what to go. This is great in a book, mm-hmm. but it's not going to work right. for a film. For a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so is Matthew McConaughey the bad guy? Yes, he's the man in black. Oh, I got it. Ooh. I got it. Uh, and by fun. all accounts, people He always seen... says the same thing. Oh, I don't know. I feel like the reason the reconnaissance happened was because he finally stopped doing romantic comedies. Right. Uh, he did something different. Like, I mean, uh, Interstellar compared to, like, if you've ever seen Killer Joe, if y'all don't mind some crazy NC-17 movies, Killer Joe with Matthew McConaughey, whoo, uh, William Friedkin, the guy who did The Exorcist. That's yeah. a hell of a movie. Yeah. Um, Last thing I saw him in was Magic Mike, so I'm like, yeah, <laughs> he was the bad guy in that, too. Yeah, I didn't true. like him. True. <laughs> I, you're, not supposed to, you're definitely not supposed to like him in this. Yeah. It's going to be interesting because people who have seen the early cuts of this movie say, like, Matthew McConaughey is great, and he yeah. relishes being evil. Good. Mm. Good. Like, and, it's that voice. Yeah. Oh. All oh, right, man, so all good. right, all right. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm way stoked. Awesome, awesome, guys. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about this official trailer for the Dark Tower. Make sure you guys check out the Patreon. If you join the Patreon and you, uh, and you become part of one of our tiers, you guys can tell us what trailers you guys want us to react to, and we'll customize them just for you. Also, make sure you guys subscribe below. Find out all the latest videos that Hyper RPG is doing. There's a lot of Star Wars happening behind us. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Later. <laughs>